of you for that statement you for saying something like that Nigeria is the 12th most dangerous country but whenever you guys are done doing your rubbish over in your country when you are looking for a holiday lodge Oh, you are finally going back to that country that is the 12th most dangerous country to build your holiday. You Africans are so tired of the disrespect and this is exactly what we mean because the Western media is is doing the most and has been doing the most to really put us on the ground, on the bottom and calling us all kinds of things when in fact they are the majority of people that have really influenced those kind of situations to still consist to stay in Africa and other parts of the world. Recently there was a visit of Prince Harry and Princess Mo Morgan, if that's the right way to call them and they went to Nigeria and it's a lot of things that have really been said especially about Nigeria by the British press and I must say it's exhausting it's freaking exhausting and I'm so glad that Africans are waking up and calling out on this BS because we are so over it we can't take it anymore but yeah guys watch these clips come back and let's talk about it absurd couple pretend to do their stupid weird pretend royal tour of that African country, of that African country. Nigeria is, you know, poverty stricken. Yes, in a country where most people earn pound fifty a day. I mean, Nigeria is a country that has a lot of problems, mm. and I'm not sure many can be solved on the polo field. Well, it's interesting. I mean, the Nigeria is listed around sort of the ninth most dangerous country in the world. Suggested that his family wouldn't be safe in Britain. Nigeria is a much more lawless country. Sure. Now, he's gone to that country there, where it's an extremely dangerous place. I mean, it's everybody knows. Princess. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a warrior princess. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone to the right place if they want to expand their cohort of fake royals because Nigeria is flush with people who claim to be members of the royal family. What is the basketball court going to do, Mike? What is the basketball court going to do? Well, I mean, I guess they're going to say, well, it's going to help people use athletics to reach out from poverty and make themselves into superstars in the NBA. It really keeps them in touch with the people when they're watching Nigerian polo too, right? <laughs> I <laughs> knew there was such a thing. <laughs> uh, visits are very carefully chosen. And I'll tell you this, you'll know this, Michael, you've been on enough royal tours. There's no way our royal family would set foot in Nigeria. Well, I think it, it, Nigeria is known to be, to be uh, one of the most lawless countries in the world. And it's no problems. Dangerous no poverty. Lawless. Least safe. It's poverty. Nigeria is actually the 12th most dangerous country in the world. Of you for that statement you for saying something like that. Nigeria is the 12th most dangerous country, but whenever you guys are done doing your rubbish over in your country, when you are looking for a holiday lodge, oh, you are finally going back to that country that is the 12th most dangerous country to build your holiday lodge. You people's holiday lodge full year. A lot of y'all will pack yourself to say you want to vacation in Africa. And I know she's talking about Nigeria, but Africa is Nigeria and Nigeria is Africa. We are one as a whole. All of you with your, oh, Africa is dirty, Africa is dirty, but it is still Congo that you are using to collect your, to collect cobalt to do iPhones that are the rage nowadays. We are dirty, but you use us to fund your, 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 your consumerism lifestyle and all of that. But then, what do you have to say about us in the local news? Oh, we are dangerous. Are you acting like UK is a safe place? Please look at what their stupid news is saying. Uh, we are among the most dangerous people, blah, 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 f*** you. I see people who are not using knife to stab yourself in the street. I don't, is you people crazy? When Queen Elizabeth died, everybody was happy that she was dead. These people are literally the face of slave trade. Is it not them? Not them, now. Nah. They have the audacity to say that we are dangerous. If you say that today, we want to do a calculation of blood, of how much blood has been shed. The blood that any of us has shed is not up to what those people have done. When this woman died, India was like, ah, when is she going to return the jewels that she stole from us? Go to the British Museum. Yes, it is their trophy place, but do every everything in the British Museum tells you of the civilization and the people that have been destroyed. Do you understand why I'm angry with this thing that say we are dangerous? We are not. How are we dangerous? Which civilization did we? Who, we, who did we destabilize? I just, I'm just angry with Nigerians, and I want everybody to wake up and their eyes open. These people are not your friends. They have ne never been your friends, and they will not be your friend. I, for one, am not going to sit up here and pretend like. There, there aren't problems in the country of Nigeria, but that is typical in most, or, or if not all countries, especially in America. And time and time again, since I was a kid, I can remember how this picture was painted of Africa being this very poor continent, like the entire, first of all, it was like painted as being a country and it's not, but it was painted as people who are un, untrained or uneducated or living in huts or an opian place that just was uncivilized. 
But if you talk with so many people who are from there, literally are from there, and you talk with people who have visited there, the story is completely night and day. It's important that we continue to call these things out because these people use these buzzwords. And they're upset that Meghan and Harry is trying to put a spotlight on a different side of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. So, ranting time. This is Nigeria versus Britain. Because it's everywhere now that British journalists are bashing Nigerians just because Meghan and Harry went to Nigeria, right? And Nigeria people gave them nice hospitality. Guys, this is not my problem. Whatever reason they had in mind before they went to Nigeria, I don't care. Whatever reason Nigerian government chose to entertain them, I don't care. However, hospitality is in our DNA. We love to welcome people because this is how we welcome the British people that caused all the havoc in Africa today. So, this video is because some journalists felt the need to compare Nigeria to the Nazi Germany. Some Christopher Wilson, whoever he is. And now, some Lizzie Codney, Kudney, Kotti, Kotti, whatever her name is. You know, it, it's okay for her to mock Harry and Meghan, talking about how they are not royalty, they are not rock stars, they are not politicians. I don't care! But what is not okay for that stupid idiot to do is to talk, oh, they didn't talk about the human rights issues in Nigeria. There's human rights issues in UK. Who is talking about it? Oh, there's 70% poverty in Nigeria. Hello? Poverty in UK? People are not able to feed. People now depend on food bank. Eh? Pot calling kettle black. So I'm making this video just to request that the British government bring history into their curriculum because it would be nice for them to teach history with facts though facts i'm not saying teach history with made up stories so it'd be nice for you guys to introduce history in your curriculum telling the british people the real facts how the british people went to african countries to commit some huge atrocities how they took christianity to nigeria christianity and in the process they stole and stole and stole and what if the fact i remember working with a woman years ago and in the mornings i'll hear her talking to this zimbabwe woman Oh, it's funny how her forefather works so hard. Oh, their forefather works so hard for them to enjoy. Now they cannot enjoy too much foreigners. Blah, blah, blah. Now she wasn't talking to me and I didn't care. But one day she came to me. And I said to her, it might interest you to know that some of us are here because your forefathers came first. And they stole. Oh, I didn't read that in British history. Yes. Convenient. She didn't read that in British history. And she got past me. So what am I saying here? I know the Nigerian government is messed up. I know there is corruption, insecurity and all that. But the chief master of the problem in Nigeria is the British. So I would really appreciate it. If some of those your journalists are well educated as you've seen the video that is what went down like i said africans are so tired of being disrespected we are so done and tired of being seen as nothing by a group of people that literally have nothing left and have always had nothing except being barbaric being hostile being criminals being warlords that's the image that these people have but they want to see and portray themselves as holy as amazing and we are no longer buying into that bs because i mean a lot of us now are educated a lot of us can access information so we are able to debunk this kind of lies first of all these people or this british press whatsoever were saying how nigeria is so barbaric how nigeria is not safe how a lot of children a lot of people lose lives every single day how nigeria is not worth a country to live in but as an african especially i look into the news and i see how every day people in the west use guns and take out people's lives go randomly to places to schools to to like normal normal places of fun to restaurants to supermarkets to malls and literally take down people's lives and i've never seen such 
such a crime in African countries that someone got a gun because of depression and they want to take other people's lives. I've not heard that. But we hear a lot of those and we see a lot of news coming from the West about how these people are so barbaric. Even on daily lives, they do that on a daily. Uh, talking about how Nigeria has nothing when it's been a country that has been giving a lot of smart children to the people of UK. Like seriously, when we look into the UK sectors, especially medicine or innovation, those kind of sectors that they probably see themselves as better at, they are full of Nigerian people because Nigerians are very smart people. And so it's really funny. It's really funny that these people always want to put other people down, especially African people who have always and more mostly build or build their countries of the West and still want to see us as nothing. If we ever wake up one day and have a stable Africa and stay in our African countries, I promise you, Europe, the Western countries would never survive. They will never survive, and that's facts. I mean, that's why they are able to come into our countries and offer their scholarships, but only take our smartest, our big and smartest individuals and take them to their countries of the UK or the West and still claim to have innovated things, have created things. And talking about how Nigeria has nothing when, I mean we are the ones that are feeding the western countries is crazy there's also one reporter that said they are beautiful king of england king charles whatsoever would never step foot in nigeria and i find it funny because they've always come in our countries they came in our countries and they never wanted to leave even today we are still fighting them to leave our countries our continent so when you see these dumb individuals trying to say all these crazy damn stupid statements about nigeria when we are the ones that have been feeding them to even be alive today and sustain themselves today i find it crazy it's it's ridiculous honestly like thinking about it i mean without what they've been taking from africa they would never exist or even survive until today so i really see them as the most ridiculous kind of human beings that don't even deserve to be alive today especially because they've been surviving off of our misery and still do today so i really i really wish africa could get its own independent kind of media platforms where we can debunk these kind of ridiculous statements and probably have some laws that hurt that somehow limit these kind of people these white kind of people from saying such BS about African countries, about African people. Even today in 2024, they are still seeing us as barbaric evil when they are the ones that are creating measles and attacking every other nation on the planet. They call us unsafe, but they never want to leave our African countries for vacations or for tourism or whatsoever. They say we are barbaric, but they even get time to come to our countries in Africa and hunt down our animals and kill our animals. And even sponsor wars in our countries. Why would you come to a place where you say it's unsafe and want to have a vacation in that kind of a place? Why? They are the ones that always bring their organizations but still sponsor the wars that still happen in our countries and want to be portrayed as saints, as heroes, when they are the same people that cause the same chaos that happens in our African countries. In Nigeria, for say, the things that we still carry today that are still torturing us today, religions, education, things that are not helping us in Africa, in Nigeria as well, are things these people created and brought into our continent. Nobody, no one in Africa asked them to, but they felt entitled that they had to come. They had to come and do all those tremendous, horrible things. And they still have the audacity to say all these ridiculous things about Africa, a continent that has really fed them from the core. Make it make sense. Come on, this is BS we cannot stand anymore. So I really appreciate when I come across videos of African people calling out these people. And more of us are waking up every single day. And like I say, Africa is rising and nobody's going to stop us. These people are flooding planes to leave, escape their Western countries that are so developed and so safe to apparently come to Africa, to come to Nigeria, to the unsafe countries of Africa. Make it make sense. Why would you do that? Yeah, guys, that is it for me in the video. Let me know what you think about this. I would like to hear your opinions. Like I said, I'm happy coming across videos where Africans are really calling out on the BS of these Western people, these Western governments, these Western medias, white medias that always want to portray us as evil when in reality they are the most barbaric group of people that has ever existed on this planet guys that is it for me in the video don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell thanks for the super chats thanks for the members i love and appreciate all the time that you give to the channel 
thank you so much that is it i'll see you in the next video bye